Apostate is the second full-length album from Hate Manifesto, and this is a group that you know technically started back in the late '90s. And but this, but it was a very different band, and it was from uh, a musician WSP who is best known for Cult of Ibon and uh, Black Blood Invocation and uh, several other bands that sort of peaked up uh, around the same time this band came back. And uh, his activity uh, back then centered around this initial black metal band, uh, which was more in kind of the Greek slash Scandinavian interplay of the time. And uh, uh, he moved on to basically playing a lot of death metal bands and pretty good ones. I mean, he's on uh, the 2003 and Veracity record. It's a fantastic record if you, you're familiar with that band. And uh, kind of brutal death metal was kind of where he focused for a couple of years. And then we didn't really hear anything from him until this band uh, came back. And uh, well, about 2000, I think 2013 is when they officially reformed. 2017 was when their first full length came out. And now we're on to the second one here. So what exactly is this band? Uh, you're going to know the minute you listen to it. So we'll get to a clip right now and go from there. So back when this band formed, the big thing in uh, kind of Greek uh, black and death metal was uh, kind of what uh, bands like Nair Maturon and uh, several other kind of war metal bands were doing, which was a black death metal uh, style of thing, which was more aggressive, just a little bit different. And that kind of lasted. Most of those bands have matured in different ways from those early 2000s. Um, but this band kind of picks up that feeling of... Uh, like they're they're just uh, maybe the third or fourth near Maturon record, which again we could just switch the conversation over to uh, Angel Corpse, uh, Marduk, and uh, the type of black death metal that was showing up in uh, the, the late two thousand or the early two thousands at the time. So basically, the first record from this band was a really sharp take on what. Uh, anything from like Blizzard Beasts through uh, Panzer Division Marduk were doing. And I don't mean to pigeonhole all of it. There is a, maybe a stronger death metal component to some of those songs. It is an album that shows one thing first and develops into something second. So uh, this record very much follows in that style, but tweaks the production values, changes the drummer to uh, Marduk's cur current drummer, and it pushes the, um, the sort of machined aggression of it all to uh, a certain peak a certain limit of speed and uh co coherence to the point where it remains brutal it is still kind of the the war metal adjacent black death metal um but they do a lot to sort of keep it moving to sort of uh the same way like mine and Werfer, uh feeds in a lot of like scrambled uh slayer-esque solos so does so does this band and um it's pretty effective as far as a brutal uh sort of shock, shocks the shit out of you kind of band that just kind of hits you with a, a lot. And uh, once you dive into the record, the tunnel vision develops, you just shoot straight through the thing. And the first four songs are, are pretty strong in that respect, where they just cut through. They're all about their riffs. The vocals are, are pretty aggressive and brutal. And the, the render of the record uh, kind of funnels you along down a space. And uh, there are more guitar layers this time around. It, it feels maybe less rooted and more just aggressive in creating an atmospheric uh, push through the whole thing. Now, the death metal side of things does perk up in the second half. There's a, a little bit more atmosphere, different riffs, more percussive moments. So the full listen is uh, dynamic enough to justify its 37 minutes. Um, but that doesn't mean you're going to find the nuance in it right away. It might take a couple of listens. And very much in the style of the records I, I had mentioned earlier, uh, it, it's very much for the person who wants that, uh, just that tunnel in to the mind of a person that is just cutting away at, at pretty aggressive and, and, and hateful music. So it's fittingly named, it's fittingly aggressive, and uh, the theme here is, pr is pretty interesting too. So uh, I don't have a ton to say about it. Otherwise, it was pretty pretty short, straightforward review, just finding uh, ways to describe something that is war metal but not something that's black death metal but maybe leans toward black metal but you know there's a pretty good great amount of nuance there to discover and if this type of thing is to your taste i think you'll agree it's it's, it's, it's a high recommendation for me so 
uh, worth checking out. Uh, if you'd like to read more of, of my thoughts, uh, go ahead and read the review on the site and uh, go listen to the album now. Here I can't, this is 